Mother's heart was far emptier than the village Aloy had imagined. Then again, a strange cult had just kidnapped a bunch of people, so the place was quieter than usual. But I'll let Sona, the villager's tough defender, fill you in. Take it away, Sona. I can't believe this happened on my watch. Cultists right inside Mother's heart. What happened? I went out to deal with some machines prowling outside our gates, but it was all part of the cult's plan. Just as I was giving this nasty broadhead a wedgie, I realized something didn't smell right. By the time I got back, Tirsa and the others were gone. How many people did they take? You know how hard it is to count without fingers. All I know is we have to save them. But I can't leave my post again. Don't worry. We saw the way they went. We'll get Tirsa and the others back. One more thing. My son, Varl. He ran off on a rescue mission before I could stop him. The boy's got a good heart. But he's not ready for this kind of trouble. Cultists, huh? Sounds mysterious. That's where they found you. All Mother Mountain. A sacred, mysterious place. Watching- I thought it was that one over there. Huh? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> a sacred, mysterious place. Watching over us always. Holding tight to its secrets. Like... Why my mom left me there. Hmm. Well, I won't be finding out without Tirsa. So let's save those villagers! <laughs> Apologies. I can't believe cultists kidnapped all those people! They're bad news, all right. Yeah, really bad. The worst, just the worst. I, I, and I just have one question. What's a cultist? Um, let me see. How do I explain? Cultists are so convinced they're right about something, usually something pretty crazy, that you just can't reason with them. Oh, like how your so sure gravy goes well with pancakes. <laughs> Kinda but with worse consequences than indigestion. Like Mother's heart getting attacked. But why would these cultists do that? Why take the villagers prisoner? I guess we're gonna find out. Come on. Boy, a mystery. Just the kind of thing to make a story interesting, according to my narrator manual. Reward the curious. Talk 
talk about a view! for it. Yeah. Another weird ancient thing. So mysterious. And that's the last yeah. bathroom break you're getting! Hey! We have rights, you know! Found some of the prisoners. Now to clear out the guards. Huh? 
Huh. The old ones sure made some strange stuff. Please, come on, please! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Let me help you. Free at last! Our savior. And it's you, isn't it? The girl who grew up outside the village. She whose mother is a mystery. Uh, sure. But you can call me Aloy. Oh, wow. An outsider. So different. So glamorous. So... In need of a good tailor. That's me. Tab the Taylor. Do you cosplay? Because, oh boy, do I have costumes for you. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds exciting. I'll make you an outfit as soon as I get back to Mother's Heart. Don't forget to come see me at my shop. That was... Woo! Frost? When we find Tirsa, she will tell me who my mother is, right? No more mysteries? Of course. She's wanted to since the day she brought you to me. You were such a strong baby. Very muscular. But she knew where to find me! Why keep me in suspense my whole life? And now that it was finally gonna happen, these strange cultists attack. Ugh, talk about bad luck. Nothing to do with luck, Aloy. I think they came because of you. Because of your destiny. Me? I'm just a girl with a bow. Oh, you're much more than that. All Mother marked you for bigger things. That's why you have a very important destiny. Why are you talking like that? What? Just trying to add a bit of drama. We got enough drama already. So what big destiny and why is it so important? Beats me. Tirsa can tell you everything when we find her. But you can't do the voice though. Don't go to pieces. <laughs> Thing. So mysterious.
is looking much better. Our heroes came upon a secluded clearing where they found three mysterious chests and an odd trader who demanded no payment. Who was he? And why was he waiting in the middle of nowhere with these treasures? The chests and I have awaited your arrival. Never seen this before. Falling technique? High degree of difficulty, that one. I'm Varl, a great Nora warrior. Sort of. Not oh, Varl. We spoke to your mom. She's worried about you. Yeah, she always worries. But I'm gonna show her just what I can do. I'll show everyone I've got what it takes to be a hero. You'll see. Okay, gotta go. That was a good one. Be careful. Oh, oh yeah, recovery. Oh, oh, he is really good at that. Ha. Unstoppable. Find your keepers. Thank you. 
Oh, look at that! It's so tall! And so... Hecky! Mm. <laughs> oh, there it is again. I wonder where it's going. Aloy had heard stories of the gentle, majestic machines known as Kalnecks. They strolled the wilds like colossal wanderers and were said to carry gold bricks on their flat heads. And everyone knows that only gold bricks could rebuild a village like Mother's Heart. Uh, just don't ask me why. It's just one of those things. Yeah. It was asking for it. Obviously means I need to spend time. Oh! Let's see if I can beat my high jump personal best.
Thing about being in this coat, the fancy uniforms. Ever since machines made the wilds too dangerous, Mother's heart has been falling apart. We've had to close off whole areas because we just couldn't get the resources. But thanks to you, we can start rebuilding. It would help if we could find Karst, of course. He's the town's, well, I guess you could call him our handyman, among other things. Pretty sure the cultists have him now. Speaking of which, I don't suppose there's any sign of Varl. Your son? Uh, actually, yeah! He is out there, uh... D doing his best. He tries so hard. All I can do is ask All Mother to return him safely. What are we waiting for? My focus is activating. Bow before me, girl. I am the terror of. Oh, it. Is this thing working? Is this... Is it, I'm, I'm not on mute, am I? Uh... Who is this? Oh, hello? Hello? Can, can you hear me now? Uh... Hi? Yes, yes, oh, yes, okay. I am the terror of the sun! Oh, okay, let me guess. You must be the cult leader. Why did you attack Mother's Heart? It's just a peaceful village! Nothing must stand in the way of the sun. I will scorch these lands and create a paradise of no shade. Sounds very sane. Look, you get one chance. Let the prisoners go. Uh, no. You have to keep searching for them. Eventually, you'll find me. And I have a special surprise planned when you do. Okay. Aloy normally loves surprises. 
This one sounded bad, like it would change your life forever. You want to know what it is, don't you? We in the story trade call that building suspense. Steer clear of those horns. Let's see if I can beat my high jump personal best. Go twice as high. Shatter. for my arrow.
time for a quick dip. You found me. Oh, this looks awesome. Another great prize. Ancient thing. So mysterious. Just checking the lock on this cage. Yep, still works. <laughs> Is everyone in your cult a comedian? Ooh, prisoners! About time! Now to clear the way out. You can do it! Are you okay? Yes, thank you. I knew someone would come. I let myself get captured so I could spy on these cultists. Heard some pretty juicy stuff. Ooh, what were they saying? Lots of talk about spreading sunshine, which sounded friendly enough. Turns out, they want to turn the whole world into a sun-baked desert. But you didn't hear that from me. Yeah, I get the feeling they really like the sun. Like? They're crazy about it. And they've got this boss Helis who's just obsessed. Keep this under your hat. But they say he holds the world tanning record. That's... good to know. Anyway, better head back to Mother's Heart before any more of them turn up. We'll probably stand around for a while. Nice day for it. Then it's right back home. Didn't think anyone would show up.
You hungry? I made you up. Another sandwich. Ah, <sighs> you're sick of them. I should have made beans. Well, no, no, of course not. Give it here. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. Yummy sandwich, very yummy. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ross. One side butter, one side mustard. The way you like it. This, this right here. This is what I trained you for, Aloy. Enthusiastic chewing? No, all of this. Defending the sacred lands, saving people. Your destiny is showing itself. And I am so proud. But, uh... I I'm afraid it'll take you away. What? Why? Well, this is your story. I'm just the mentor guy. My job was to prepare you and... Well, you're prepared. Come on. Better keep moving. Oh, Frost. Deadly, blowy orb thingies. Gotta watch out for watchers. <laughs> that glowing spot is a great place for my arrow. Wow. Around that watcher scanner. Deadly shot! Oh!
Go to pieces. <laughs> huh. I've told you the prisoners are supposed to stay inside the cage. You better hope I don't get out. Okay, okay. Girls in that cage. Poor guy must have gotten caught. Thank you. Thanks, Aloy. Guess I'm not such a great warrior after all. Hey, even the best warriors blunder foolishly into getting captured sometimes. What happened? I was sneaking up on these two cultists, ready to whack them with my spear, and my foot got caught on a vine. Went flat on my face. Oh, please don't tell my mom. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. And at least you tried. Listen, Aloy, you have to be careful. That cult leader, Helis? He's after you, and he's really strange. He hates trees. I mean, what kind of monster hates trees? Yeah, I think all that sun might have fried his brain. I'm pretty sure he has Tirsa somewhere around here. <gasps> really? Then let's go get her! Freedom! <laughs> There! There she is! <laughs> Tirsa, you're looking... um... well? <gasps> Raw Snow! Get away from here! No! <laughs> <laughs> I knew my brilliant plan would work! Ha! Keyless One! Uh, Redhead Zero! Who are you? I <laughs> am Keyless! <laughs> no, no. And once I deal with you, I will fill the world with sunshine! <laughs> Deserts everywhere, mandatory sunbathing, you and... Me, girl. Ugh, you always do this, boss. I'm right in the middle of my speech. Eliminate the girl hey, now. Hey, the girl has a name. Ugh, see, this is why nobody takes me seriously as a felon. I can handle this. Your hand is on fire. Your hand's on fire. Wait, what? Ah, ah, put it out! Put it out! Ah, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! 
I'll put you out. Uh, guys? Guys? Yes! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Guys! Huh? Ah! Aloy! Crossed. Goodbye, Aloy. I will always be with you. Me too. I get... Huh? No! Rust! No, 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 no! Rust! And that, in case you were wondering, is how I got the narrator job. I can't believe Rost's gone. He's... He's always been there for me. I'm so sorry, Aloy. It's never easy to lose someone. But I have the strange feeling he's not really gone, you know? You mean like, he's still watching over us? Yeah, I feel it too. I bet if you try real hard, you might even be able to hear his voice. Yeah, and I think he'd want us to go on. The people of Mother's Heart still need us. Aloy returned home, realizing that Rost would live on in her head. His stories, his advice, his impeccable sense of humor. Okay, okay, I get it. You're still with me. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome. This will be my first time out here without Rost, but having a friend along sure makes it easier. Happy to be here. You know, we're a lot like the great superhero's hot dog guy and his trusty sidekick, Hot Dog Dog. They went on adventures together, they fought evil, and they always saved the day. Just like us, see? Yeah, I guess so. I just wanted to meet Tirsa and find out who my mom was. Evil kind of got in the way. That's the thing about being a hero. You don't choose it, you get chosen. I know narrators are supposed to be impartial, but... I'm just so happy that Halo didn't have to go on alone now that Rust was gone. Watch my step around those sparks. Oh, that must control the power. I wonder if I can shock it.
as if I didn't have enough mysteries to unravel. Extra juice. Aloy was delighted to see so many people celebrating their return to Mother's heart. Truly, it was time to party. So shiny. monster you saw when when Ross saved you you think it's some kind of demon not sure but it's a nasty piece of work whatever it is maybe it's the reason the machines are so angry all the time mom says they weren't like this when I was a little kid yeah Ross used to tell me how they just hung out in the wilds tending to the forests and something changed and since Helis and his red monster showed up the machines seem even angrier I really hope we find Tirsa soon we could really use that big granny brain of hers right now. Oh man, I accidentally called Tirsa mommy. The other hunters are never gonna let me live this down. Swimming pool. Exploding hot dogs. Fun! Another weird ancient thing. So mysterious. <laughs> Looks like I've got a comfy scrapper in my hands. Sure showed me.
professional. Stop trying to get out, Grandma! Huh? This thing is heavy! Uh, wait till I hit you over the head with it. I knew I'd get another shot at you! Just couldn't resist rescuing the old fossil, could you? You! It's your fault Rost is gone! You really have it in for me, huh? Why go to so much effort for a girl with a bow? You're the only one who can stop it! I mean, uh, uh, what effort? You're not important at all! Oh, wow. Very convincing. Oh, who cares? I don't need to convince you if you're dead. Which is why I've sent my favorite pet to crush you and offer you up to the sun! Legs, get her! That 
has to be Tirsa down there. Mother has brought you to us as I knew she would. <laughs> and the way you squished that giant metal bug sent that sun dried prune of a leader and his weirdo followers running for the hills. Tirsa, you're all right. Oh, I survived 13 grandchildren. It'll take more than these numbskulls to do me in. I think. I'm the reason they took you all, but why do all this just to get rid of me? Because you're the key to stopping them. I've known you were special since the day I found you as a baby. And after seeing you pew, pew, pew in those machines, I'm sure of it. Uh, okay, if you say so. You're the wise old lady. I'm just the girl going pew, pew. <laughs> Tirsa, when you got captured, I was on my way to ask, do you know who my mother is? Do you know why she left me? Come, Aloy. It's time to see for yourself where you were born. <gasps> Sacred Mountain Time? Sacred Mountain Time! Um, hello? Don't touch that! <gasps> I've seen that before. Is that... where I was born? Voice recognized. Begin message. Ah! <laughs> Uh, hi. The goddess. My name is Elizabeth. She looks just like you. And if you're hearing this message, it means something terrible has happened. I need to sit down. An evil Ow. being who has been sleeping for many, many years has awoken, and it looks like this. Oh, okay, ha, ha, wrong folder. That's that's from my last vacation. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Face of evil. That thing. All it wants to do is eat. Everything. And I mean everything. Every plant, every animal, every person. No! <sighs> I know, it sounds pretty bad, huh? Well, the good news is that I've invented a weapon that will totally kick its butt. <laughs> and you are the only one who can find the pieces and put it together. Me? Boy, it's a lot to take in, right? <laughs> Ancient evils, special weapons. You must have so many questions. But don't worry, I gotta go, got a pie in the oven. Just take this hollow box and open it when you get home. Bye. Oh, box? What box? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this box. You sure this is the best place for her? It's the All Mother Tree. It's right there in the name. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> <gasps> mm. 
Cherry toaster tarts are just the best. Huh? huh? Oh, hi. I guess I'm in my new home then. It's a great place for a picnic. The goddess has arrived. <laughs> Okay, let's get down to saving the world. Like I said before, the only way you can stop that big scary red thing is to find the three pieces of the weapon I left for you. In the video games I used to play when I was a kid, you always had to find three things hidden around the world. That's why I made the pieces in the shape of metal flowers so they could blend into their environment. Smart, huh? Wait, did you say flowers? The first one should be growing in the mountains, so wrap up warm. Can't go saving the world with the sniffles. Uh, can we go back to the part where the weapon is made out of flowers? Uh, I'm sure the goddess knows what she's doing. So let's go find them, shall we? You're coming with me? Oh, the wilds are dangerous for a great grandmother like me. All those machines, all those cultists, which is why I can't wait to get out there. That's my kind of lady. Here, take this focus. It does all sorts of neat stuff. Oh, one of those little whatchamacallits I found with you when you were a baby. Always hoped I'd get to try one. And on the same day, we're reopening the Matriarch Lodge. 